I'm going to show you the three best ways that you can use ChatGPT on your Shopify store to supercharge your sales and get you more time back in your day. I'm gonna show you the exact prompts that I use on my stores that are best practice, that are gonna get you the best results from ChatGPT, and I'm gonna give them to you so you can apply them to your store. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna let you in behind the scenes of what Shopify is doing at their end to integrate AI directly into Shopify, so you're probably not gonna even need ChatGPT in the future to do what we're doing today. My name's Brendan Gillen, and I run a number of e-commerce stores, and I've worked with some of the biggest brands in the world, some doing over $100 million a year, on their online store. I drop videos just like this to teach you what I've learned in those businesses and what I'm learning in my businesses every day so that you can take those tips and apply them to your stores. If you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below what other things you might wanna learn and I'll drop videos just like that for you. So if you've been living under a rock for the last few months, you may not have heard of ChatGPT. It's taking over the world and it's taking people's jobs, but it's saving us all time and it's supercharging what we can do in our businesses. Now, let me give you a little overview of what it is. I might ask ChatGPT itself. Let's see what it says. All right, I am ChatGPT, a large language model developed by OpenAI. I have been trained on a vast amount of data to be able to understand and generate human-like responses to a wide range of topics and questions. My primary purchase is to provide helpful and informative responses to users in natural language and I'm designed to continuously learn and improve my responses over time. That's a pretty technical response. How about I tell you the simplified human version? Basically, we ask ChatGPT questions in human speak and it answers us in human speak, but it operates at a superhuman level. It's like talking to another person that knows everything in the world. We send it instructions and it gives us answers and we can understand it and it can understand us. It's really awesome. It uses AI, deep learning and language models to be able to do it. All you need to know is that we've got to give it prompts to give it answers. The better prompts that we give it, the better answers that we give. The worse prompts that we give it, the worse answers that we give. So that's why today I'm gonna to take you through how to structure your prompts properly so that you can get the best out of ChatGPT. And I'm gonna focus specifically on Shopify. So we're gonna cover three prompts today for Shopify. And the first one is using ChatGPT to write product descriptions. So I've developed this little ChatGPT cheat sheet. And you can grab the link down below. Now this is going to give you the exact prompts that you need to use to put into chat GPT and I'm going to show you how it works right now. So we need to do multiple prompts. The first prompt and we need to set up chat GPT. So we're going to tell it what we want it to act like. So we've said act as an online store that sells men's bamboo stocks. Understand? Now the reason we say do you understand is we want it to acknowledge that it knows how it's going to answer us. If we tell it that we want it to act as a five-year-old child, it would act as a five-year-old child. If we want to say act as a person with an IQ of 200, it would do that as well. So we want to make sure that it acts in the voice that we want it to talk to us in. So we've asked it to act as though it is a store that sells bamboo socks. So let's do that first. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it straight in to chat GPT here. It agrees. It's going to do it. It's actually gone into a little bit more detail than usual. It's telling me how to set up an online store. That's okay because it knows what we're talking about now. So this is not a bad start. So now it's time for the second prompt in this one chat. Now this second prompt is super important. We want to tell it what to do. So we want it to write a high converting sales focused e-commerce product description for the product we're selling, which is men's bamboo socks. We want it to include the features. So it's with the following features, 100% bamboo cotton, moisture wicking, elasticated, and durable. So if you're applying this to your store, you would put your product name in and the features of your product. We then want to say that the product is intended to be used by a certain person. So this is our avatar. And we're saying it's adventurous fitness men. And we want to also include what it's going to be used for, hiking and trail running. And now what we want to do is we want to tell it how we would like it to present the information back to us. So we've set it up. We've given it enough information and now we want to ask how it's coming back to us. So we've said, note the structure of the description should be an introductory paragraph followed by a list of five bullet points that outline the benefits of the features followed by a paragraph of who the product is intended for and how it should be used. So we've basically filled all these things here with these keywords here. Okay, so let's see what comes up with. Copy and paste. This is pretty good. So here are five reasons why bamboo socks are a must have for any adventurer. It's called out moisture wicking. It's called out elasticated. It's durable. And it's also said the benefit of that feature, amazing. And it has expanded on it. This is pretty awesome. Eco-friendly and sustainable, versatile design. And we've closed off the paragraph now with a conclusion as to why you should buy this product. So now we've got our product description and it's structured in the way that we'd like it. 
but there's a few more steps that we can take to make this even better. So let's get back to the cheat sheet. The next prompt is we want to create a HTML code for the product description. So not only can ChatGPT talk to you in a language, it can also do code. And this is really awesome because it means we can structure our content exactly the way that we want it to look. So let's copy that and let's paste it here. And boom, okay, that's done. So what we can now do is copy that code by clicking copy up here and we can paste it directly into our Shopify store. So let's go over to that, Shopify. We click over here in code and then we paste it in and then this is what it looks like. Beautifully formatted code. Now that's just supercharges just that little bit, hasn't it? Let's go one more step that's really cool. So the final prompt that I like here is we want to write a 150 character meta description. Now this is gonna be great for Google and ranking in SEO. So let's do that one. Copy, paste, boom. Perfect, copy, go back to your Shopify store, scroll down to your search engine listing and we paste it directly in here. Boom, we've got it there, excellent. And then we click save. So that was prompt number one. Let's now move to prompt number two where we create collection descriptions. Collection descriptions are very important because they help you rank in SEO, as well as tell the customer when they land on the collection, what's included and what it's about. So back to our little cheat sheet. On the next page, I've got the prompts for collection descriptions. It operates in a very similar way. So let's see, we're gonna do act as an online store that sells men's bamboo socks. Copy, paste, boom. How interesting, we got a different response this time. It wasn't as detailed as last time, but this time they've acknowledged that we are a store that sells bamboo socks. Okay, so prompt number two, we wanna write a 400 word description for a collection of products in the category. Now this is the category or the collection that we wanna write the description for. Men's bamboo socks with the following types of products. These are the products that are going to be within the category that you're selling. So things like running socks, hiking socks, and travel socks. So in your category, it would be something like ladies shoes, ladies heels, could be things like that. So have a think about what products you have in this one collection and we include it in here. And then we say where possible, use the following keywords within your description. Bamboo socks, men's socks, running socks, travel socks. Now we've used the Google Keyword Planner to get these keywords. We wanna embed these in this description so that when this store gets scanned by Google search engine, it's gonna know what the store's about and it's gonna be keyword relevant. This is gonna be great for SEO. So let's select this whole thing and we are gonna copy and paste. Boom, that's a great description. This is so good. It's even broken it down to if you're a runner, if you like hiking or if you're a traveler. So it's written the description based on everything that's gonna be included in this collection. Now, obviously we're not gonna just copy and paste this in without changing it. We wanna throw a human element over it. So I want you to reread the one that it generates for you. And if you need to rewrite it and put a little bit in your own words, that's gonna be okay. It's just saved you so much time. You don't have to write this from scratch. It's included the keywords, it's talked about the products and it has been enough characters so that it gets searched and it's relevant in search engines. Okay, cool, so let's do the next prompt. The next prompt is create a HTML code for the product description, similar to what we did before. Kapow. All right, so let's copy this, pop back into Shopify, change the code and paste. And there we go. And we can click save there. So now to chat prompt number three, and this one is really, really cool. Let me show you. Okay, so prompt one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna act as an online store that sells bamboo socks. Understand, we copy and we paste. So prompt number two, we're actually gonna tell it to give us some ideas for blog posts. So let's do that. Write me five catchy blog post titles for the keyword term why bamboo socks are good for running. Paste, boom. Okay, awesome. Give me five really good blog posts here. Stay cool and comfortable, the benefits of bamboo socks, get your feet moving with bamboo socks, going the distance, uh, sweat proof and sustainable, from blister prevention to moisture control. Uh, I like number five, so we'll just remember that. Now, prompt number three, we are going to use our language. Now, I'm sure you could have picked up by now, I have an Australian accent, so, my stores are based in Australia, so we want to write for Australians. Australians do spell things and a little bit different to the English. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to write this in Aussie. So copy, paste. Okay, pretty long answer, but they get what I'm trying to do. All right, awesome. So now this is where the fun begins. We wanna write a 1000 word blog post for your suggestion 
blog post title suggestion, including and include the following keywords. And this is where we use the same keywords or keywords that are relevant to this blog post so they can embed it in the blog post for search engines. Now, this is the cool bit. I'm gonna type in here, option uh, suggestion five, so number five. And the reason we do this is we're in the exact same chat as we were when we started and when we asked them for those blog suggestions. So we can actually ask them to write something based on the title suggestion on the number that they've given us and it's gonna know what we're talking about. So, so copy this, paste. So this is gonna take a few minutes to write. Now think about if you were writing this yourself, it would take you say half an hour, an hour, you'd need to do your research, you would need to then write it, you'd need to edit it, you'd need to do all these sorts of things. What ChatGPT is doing is going to the World Wide Web, pulling in as much information as possible, translating that, twisting it around, making sure that it makes sense, writing it in English Australian and pumping it back out right to the specifications that we want. It includes the keywords that we want, it's the topic that we want, it's acting as an online store, it's writing in English Australian, it's doing all this for us while we wait and it's only gonna take a couple of minutes. Let's go see where it's at. Okay, we're almost done. All right, looks like it's finished now. Okay, so that's now done. So we can copy and paste this directly into Shopify. Go to online store, blog posts. We're gonna add a blog post and we paste the blog post in there. We get the title. and save. And then the final prompt in this chat is going to be getting a meta description so that it ranks well in search engines. So prompt five, copy, back to chat GPT, paste, boom. Same as before, copy, back to Shopify, back to the bottom and search engine preview, we can pop it in here, paste, awesome. Save. Now that has just saved you a bucket load of time. You've been able to use three prompts to create product descriptions, collection descriptions, and blog posts. Now, I promised you that I'd tell you all about what Shopify is doing in their AI so that you don't need to use ChatGPT and it's embedded directly in the platform. Let me show you a behind the scenes look of something called Shopify Magic. So in the back of Shopify here, if you've got access to Shopify Magic, you're gonna see this little purple star thing here that's called AutoWrite. Now, if we click that, it brings up its own version of ChatGPT where it uses the AI to generate descriptions. And what it's wanting us to do here is put in the features. Similar to what we did in ChatGPT, we just paste the features in here and we let Shopify Magic create the description for us. So I'm gonna paste in the features now. And what I can also do here is I can decide on the tone of voice that I want it to be. So we can have a tone expert, we could do supportive, we could do persuasive, to daring, playful, or sophisticated. I really like what Shopify have done here because not everyone wants to have their copy sound the same. Everyone has a different tone of voice. So it's great to be able to put a tone of voice in when you're writing your product descriptions. Let's click generate and see what happens. Okay, great. So it tells us bamboo socks, test product, obviously it's put the title in here, are designed to keep your feet dry and comfortable, created from 100% Bamboo cotton, the material quickly wicks away, sweat and moisture providing breathability. These socks are also elasticated for added comfort and durability. So this is the expert setting. Let's try something else. Let's try something a little bit more persuasive and we'll click rewrite. All right, so this one says, are your feet ready to experience the extraordinary comfort of bamboo socks? Our 100% bamboo cotton socks feature moisture wicking. They're elasticated for a perfect fit and are incredibly durable. Uh, enjoy unmatched comfort and quality with everywhere. Pretty persuasive. Let's try one more. Uh, let's try something a little playful. See what this says. And we click rewrite. Shopify Magic's doing its magic. And here we go. Be the envy of your friends with our bamboo socks. These 100% bamboo cotton beauties are not only comfortable and durable, they'll keep your toes extra dry with moisture wicking abilities. Plus their elasticated design will leave your feet blissful all day long, at least until you take them off. Definitely very playful. I wanna keep this one. So if we like it, we just click keep and it puts it in there. And then so now we can just humanize it and put some spacing, some dot points and make it really stand out. We're not even gonna to need to go to ChatGPT in the future. We're just gonna be able to use AI, whatever platforms we like, it's gonna pull the best out of the AI, the best out of that platform, bring them together, make our jobs super easy, and hopefully it's gonna increase our sales, 
give us more time, and really supercharge us as humans. If you like this video, tell us what you liked about it below, and let me know if you want me to create any more videos just like this one.